and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Poppy Scouts. Going to be our next donation deck from Cabo. It's Cabo Day. Made all these decks. This one is, and so far, so good. Couple 3 2 records. This one's going to be a, um, you know, a Scout deck. You know, if you familiar with this from back in the day with Misfortune Quinn, but instead of with Quinn, we are going to be playing Poppy instead because this attack ability on Poppy is incredibly strong. Getting that plus one, plus one, you know, basically a Vanguard Bannerman each time it attacks. Pretty crazy. And so we're going to have those two together. We're going to have some rallies in here, so we can attack some more. We're going to have some units with Scout that can attack some more, like Island Navigator, Genevieve Elm Heart, Blinding Assault, um, all of those. Because we want lots of attacks with both Misfortune and Poppy. They both want to uh, have lots of attacks. Besides that, a lot of smaller units, get some challengers, get some things that can get buffed up. Got some really good combat tricks. Ranger's Resolve, Sharp Sight, Prismatic Barrier, some really good combat tricks. And we got ourselves a deck. So let's give it a try. We're gonna go play our five games in ranked with Poppy Scouts. Okay, Pirate Burn. Pirate Burn, really good. We just lost to Pirate Burn. All right, Tracker on one. We'll send the rest back. Like, we could have Blinding Assault for two, but, you know, a two one for two mana is just not that good. I want to see if we can get some, you know, like, this is just the same card, but for one mana. I kind of like just keeping Sharp Sight mana up after this. We do have to worry also about uh, Make It Rain, you know, if I play this other tracker. So we'll kind of see. I was kind of looking for, like, Jagged Butcher for, like, another one drop. All right, so they can't have make it rain. For the glory of um, I guess we just pass. Walk here. Turn those both into one health. I'm one of the good guys, but not that. Now we have these things. Guns blaze. Oh. Alright, I only killed one of them. Poppy! Explosives primed. Do I play the tracker first, or do I hold the two mana up for sharp sight to protect Misfortune? Perfect. I forgot to change emotes. We don't have a Misfortune emote. I was going to use the Misfortune guns emote. Alright, so they're going to the Nexus. Make it interesting for me. Make it rain is what makes me scared to play to lead with the tracker. If they don't break, they'll burn. This is our way. So if I let them block and kill Misfortune, we could do like six damage to them. Okay, I don't think we attack with Misfortune this time. Like, if they would only have the one blocker. Yeah, you definitely feels like they have another Fervor. Like, you know, like, that's why they didn't play this to begin with, because they were keeping Fervor available. Hmm. Rally would have been our best draw. We should still be good. Wouldn't be a quest without some danger. Open attack. 
Should do it. Because I don't think they can have double fervor. Do it. They're gonna like double up plus fervor. That's what they could add. They could add like try to, you know, fervor do three to me and double up the two two. But of course we had sharp sight to stop that. I got lucky. You'll get me next time. GGS. Diego, no. Y'all know Viego is like the hardest champion for me to ever defeat. Never defeat Viego. So we keep Misfortune. This is gonna go. What about these other cards? I don't. I don't feel like that should go. But that thing can attack. Even like Prismatic Barrier here. It's kind of meh. Yeah, Timo, you can find Timo Swain on Mobilytics. Head there. All my decks are on... That's my Mobilytics page. All the decks are on there. You can click on there and you can find the, the deck list there. And you can uh, find the code and everything. No problem. Control one, control two, control three. Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> yeah. It says, you too? I can't ever beat Viego. I know, Viego is impossible to beat. I'm pretty sure Viego has like a 100% win rate. Who's that you got there? So that attack allows them to play Viego this round. Oh, even worse. Wow. <laughs> well, that's game. Okay, great. We have no cards to do anything. Hooray. Who does not know the name Laurent? Surprised by that. Very surprised by that. We unfortunately drew really poorly though. These four cards don't matter and those are our last four cards. Less is more sun. Yeah, so that syncopation is what they had whenever... Like, I, th I think they had that before for the Viego. Oh no, maybe it was the Glimpse Beyond they had that for the Viego.
Yeah, right. Can we like trade in three bright steel protectors for a bright steel formation? Show them what we're made of. It has kind of felt like they're holding on to like ruination or something like that too. Hold on to a bunch of those things. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. Four, enough. <sighs> Can't do it. Played around that better. Submission or death for all who leave. All right, one on one. Okay, let's see how we do against Draven at Scion. It's not going to be any worse than that game. That game was as bad as it gets. Well, I said that, but. They actually want Ranger's Resolve. You know, like, we don't play anything around one. I think Ranger's Resolve can be very useful. Okay, or I play that thing. Okay, so we upgraded our Fleet Feather Tracker. Anything else? <laughs> Who does not know the name Laurent? Well, that changes things. Um, it, it means that I wish I didn't play the Protégé, so I have managed to protect Poppy, I guess. I guess that's all that it changes. What's up, Sand Soldier? Yeah, we can't, exactly, we can't, we can't play the Poppy and then it gets get excited. We're gonna have to wait. Azir's command! Wow. That's a surprising... Surprising. This is our way. No. I'll set that back. Alright, so get excited, it's gone. That's good news. It makes life worse. They had this other 4 2 fearsome. You suck. Got your back. 
good draw there with the Bright Steel Protector. Main question is if I want to play the Blinding Assault right now or Golden Ages after I attack. And I think I probably wait till next round for Golden Ages anyway, so I think we'll go ahead and play the Blinding Assault. I wouldn't just trade trade these two for those two. Steel is yours. Let's just trade them. So I'm not. Uh, yeah, I wasn't challenging the four ones because I don't want them to be able you know, spinning axe, be able to kill my protege that way. How do we survive? So I assume that the Scion's leveled up. It doesn't show that's leveled up right now, but it's going to be leveled up. They're going to discard something with 4 plus power, and so they're going to have 10, you know, 10 overwhelm with the Scion coming back. How do we survive? I don't think there's a good line. No, there's really not a good line. Because especially... Yeah, there's, this is just... It's 11, that's right. Peace will not take long. A disgrace. It's too bad. GG, Sion. GG. Too many of those 4 2 fearsome. They got me. Quest failed. Sorry, hero. Alright, Darkness Control, we're definitely going to have to be super aggressive for this matchup. Alright, so we got one drop. One, two, two. How are these Blinding Assault? No, we just don't want Blinding Assault. Alright, one drop, two drop there, there. Because they're, they're a Vile Feast Poke Stick deck, so Blinding Assault trading with those, but then they get extra value is you know not a, a good thing for us. Alright, so we're going to Butcher into Warden. They can Vile Feast the Warden, of course, but then, you know, we both get extra value instead of just them getting extra value. Star Shepherd. That's not, that's not great. Okay, so... Not fantastic. Fantastic at all. The ocean whispers of secrets. Okay, gonna just kind of bottleneck them. Fashion forward. Yeah, the problem with you know playing misfortune is they just they're just gonna darkness misfortune. It's just this this rally doesn't do anything. Alright, let's get another tracker on play. We're gonna have Genevieve buffing these things up next round. is no place for the weak. Osu, help! Hmm. Oh, I guess we take that. My strength is yours! Alright, so we got Misfortune out of darkness range. That's good. Damned. 
This is our way. Hold nothing back. Could we go on barrier on Jenny instead? This lets me take out like the three two. So many one damage cards. Still got some good attacks in that round. You know, like we're not doing too bad. We got him down to eight. We get something good. That's something good. Anything can be scattered to its elements, even us. Show them what we're made of. Yeah, we play. Just place a three on. Conflict, we grow. Fall by my sword. He wants us. The guy looks right fierce. We're gonna get him. All right, so we're getting the the open attack, so we can get like the fearsomes and everything. Wow, I think we're gonna get them. I think we're gonna win this. Yes, we do. I don't know exactly why they attacked that 4-5 instead of just blocking with it, but we'll take it. All right, got to win. So that worked out well. All right, now 2-2. Two and two, We got to win this. We got to keep this 3-2 dream alive. We got Sejuani Swain. I guess we keep it all. So plan is tracker on one. Open attack, deal damage, then play a 3-3 butcher. Ooh, I love the sharp sight. They're gonna pass. Pass, pass, pass. Good, good, good. And we hit number two. Cool. Cool. And now we do nothing this round and save three spell mana to help Poppy. It has helped they've had nothing that they've done nothing these first couple of rounds. That has definitely helped. Let's get to it. All right, we got back up, Poppy. I'm not gonna fight over that, Poppy. The ocean whispers her secrets. They say these were from the protector himself. Getting that gem. Uh, let's see. If I play like Sharp Sight, next round we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. So we'd still have enough for Poppy plus Prismatic Barrier or Poppy Bright Steel Protector. It's dead. So Sejuani's kind of a problem, right? Like I go Poppy, they go Sejuani, Frostbite. Always forward. Let's get our st scout attack in first and just get two damage in and then just kind of see what's up. There's plenty of killing left. Nothing escapes my watch. Today's the day I find that hero. This is our way. Look out for Reavers. Alert the villains. Okay. Light ravines. Alright, so two bladder ravines and an avalanche down. 
with our deck with no draw and a whole bunch of small units. We're doing okay surviving those. Pain is nothing. All right, so we're going to use Prismatic Barrier. I could play Bright Steel Protector, but then I don't get to challenge. I guess we don't need to challenge. My shield is yours. All right, we'll play Bright Steel Protector. Bristle, attack. Less is more shot. Hopefully get the win. Leave no survivors. Attack with a bunch of stuff. Oh no. Oh no. Hopefully get the win. Awesome. And the even if that would have worked, like the Sejuani should be blocking the 4-3 because then they can kill the 4-2 with the guillotine that's left. Exact lethal. GG's. Not too bad, not too bad. Um, you know, rallies with Poppy and Misfortune are awesome. But I wasn't that enthralled with our early game. Um, I don't know. I kind of like Jagged Butcher, actually. I like having that extra one drop. Um... I kind of like the Jagged Butcher, but I don't love the Mirai Warden. I think that's maybe like a little bit too much because then it's, it's you know, gives you some poor draws later. There's just not like another like two, like what, what would be another like good two drop that's like good to draw in the late game? You know, like you're looking for those kind of things like Fortune Croaker, I guess, but um, or even like Boxtopus. Ooh, I could, I could see Boxtopus instead of. Mirai Warding, because Challengers are awesome. Challengers are, are very good with both Misfortune and Island... Or, sorry, I said... I, I was going to say Island Navigator. Sorry, Misfortune and Poppy. I could see that. I can see that. Maybe playing a little box of plus in here. It would give you even more things that die to one damage spells, so maybe that's not great. But, I don't know. It worked. It worked just fine. So... Um, that's Poppy Scouts. I would definitely at least play just, like, two Wardens and three Protégés. I'd definitely get, like, that third Protégé in here. That card's really good with, uh, both champions. Uh, so I, I love Protégé. And we, you know, you got a lot, you got a lot of twos in here. That's still leaving you with eight twos. That's probably enough twos, I guess. All right, but that's going to be it for Poppy Scouts. And a 3-2 day. So Cabo Day getting that, all those 3-2s, that's a 60% win rate. If you just continually go 3-2 all the time, you're going to be ranking up quite a bit. And that's a that's a great win rate, you know, to have. So we'll take that all day. But uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And feel free to leave those comments. If you're playing some Scouts with Poppy and Misfortune, got any suggestions or anything like that. Or if you try out the deck yourself and let us know how it goes. But that's going to be it for Poppy Scouts, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.